Hi everyone. So today is another episode of Shiv the Chef featuring Lee Holton. So today's video, we are going to be, well, I've forced Leah to cook <laughs> me a meal and I'm gonna be cooking her a meal as well. We are both going to be cooking each other meals and then we're gonna be rating each other's meals. Yeah? Yes. And we both decided to cook pasta, of course. But Lee's gonna be cooking me her pasta. Pacho e pepe. I've never had that before. And I'm gonna be making, what am I gonna be making? Vodka. No. Oh. No. What am I making? I don't know. I'm making carbonara with tortellini. We will begin cooking now. Just boil the freaking water. Okay, so Leah is going to be boiling the kettle. Do it while the kettle boils. Spaghetti. I'm using Lego tortellini. Ow. Actually, I got the wrong tortellini. How do I know how much spaghetti you use? Spaghetti is a difficult pasta to measure, okay? Because you can't put it in a bowl and see how much you want because it's like, it's straight and it curls up when. You this could be the a good pasta is so dirty. My pot's boiling. Okay, so I am going to grate my cheeses because that's what I'm gonna do to prepare. So first I'm grating my grano padano. Wait for me. Hurry up. Okay, so I have my grano pedano and my pecorino. I'm going to grate them onto separate plates. Finally, because I'm fine. Get it? Uh, and I have my bacon, which I'll be cutting into small squares because we're making some tricky bacon for our carbonara. Have you ever made this before? No. Oh. Are you using the recipe? Yeah. Oh, so you're cheating. No. How much is three quarts of a cup? You've got to stop asking me. This is, this is to be judged. This is a competition. Sorry, I believe in you. It's overflowing. Actually, I'm not following the recipe. I don't know how much is enough. I'm just gonna add more cheese. Should be enough cheese, hopefully. Pecorino. How are you going? Perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be slicing up my onion, really finely chop it. This isn't the knife for it, but it works. I'm going over to that pan over there, the skillet, and I'm adding two tablespoons, like that times two, of butter. So I'm putting my two tablespoons of butter on the pan, just like this, and I'm gonna spread it around, and I'm gonna add a heap and a heap of pepper. I'm just gonna add some pepper right now. So I've added my pepper. I think I might add a little bit more butter and a little bit more pepper and just swirl this around. So it looks like this currently and it's absolutely gorgeous and it smells amazing. So I'm just making sure it's a little bit more toasty. Should use this. And I'm adding half a cup of pasta water. How do I get the pasta water? Do I just scoop it out of the Thing? Yeah, right. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much is half a cup. That's, a that's cup. you put yeah, it already. Uh, that looks fucked. Okay, so I've cut up my bacon and onion, and now I'm going to be putting everything into the pan. So I'm gonna get some butter, that lump of butter, adding that to the pan. And there's layers over there. Then we're gonna get the bacon and onion. I put the bacon in first because the bacon takes longer to cook than the onion. Give it a bit of a whisk. Are you cheating? Are you cheating? I thought you weren't gonna use any more. 
either. So once this starts to get a bit crisp, then you're gonna add in the onion. Okay, I'm just adding my pasta. I'm mixing that all in. Mm. Ow. <laughs> a bit more butter, a bit more pepper. Okay, so now I just added in the onion. Give that all a bit of a mix till it's golden brown. Look how good. You haven't even added the cheese in yet. I know. It's so good. Good job. Thanks. Now I'm going to add my Rana Padano. So this one. I'm gonna add it little bits at a time. And I'm gonna try and mix this on like a lower heat and yeah, just keep adding the cheese. Okay, so mine smells amazing right now. So we're gonna add in the cream. So we've got some thickened cream and we're gonna add that all in. Oh my God. And then we're gonna season. Season's the key. So put all that cream in. So this is it with the cream in and just let that thicken. So now we're gonna season it while this thickens. So I'll show you what I put in. So this is where it gets really freaking ethnic because we whip out the baguette. So we put in a lot. Get a nice juicy big tablespoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon, and get a nice fat chunk of baguette and just chuck that bad boy in. Now, because we didn't put garlic, because I forgot to get garlic, so I'm gonna get some garlic salt because, yeah, I didn't put garlic and just put a whole chunk of that in because it tastes good. And then pepper, of course. No judgment needed with measurements. You just flavor the taste. But I'm gonna taste some. So that's good. Mm. Mm. My taste so good. Fuck, so is mine. I'm excited. All right, and now that that's off the heat, I'm putting in the pecorino, and I'm just gonna mix that in. But it's off the heat, you guys. My pasta is officially ready. It looks delicious. I had a bite, and it tastes amazing. So I'm going to go dish this up now. Ooh! Okay, so this is what the sauce should look like. I'm gonna let it simmer for a bit until it like thickens. If it takes too long to thicken, you can add flour or corn flour. I can't remember which one, but I won't need that because I know it's gonna thicken. So I'm gonna let that sit for a bit and then I'm gonna add in the tortellini. So once it's starting to simmer, I guess, like this, you're gonna add in the most important ingredient, which is parmesan. So you're gonna like put a piece of that shit in because that's the key to making this taste amazing. And you don't need salt because you'll get high blood pressure. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. That was like a cauliflower. Can we taste test mine and then taste test yours? No, we're gonna try it at the same time. I want to eat it so bad. No, does it taste really good? It tastes so good. He's so happy. All right, so once the pasta's in, you gotta flavor it again. Pepper, very much more parmigiano to that. I'm gonna put it to simmer and then it will thicken and then it's done. But that's everything. Easy, Woo! simple. So we have my cacio e pepe. Layers first. I, I know it tastes amazing. It smells very peppery. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad or good? That's actually bad. That's actually bad. <laughs> it's actually good. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. I feel like it could have a bit more salt. You can add salt on top. I know, but it's actually good. Good job. Thank you. Good job, Lee. You cooked for the first time and I'm happy to be the one trying it. I reckon if you put truffle in this, it would taste like spot on. Yeah, but unfortunately I don't have truffle. That's it guys, cacio e pepe. So this is mine. Mine is with tortellini. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna dig in. Manja. Manjare. Very good. It's a bit wet. Mm. But very flavoursome. You were correct when you said that. Let's taste some of the bacon. Get some of the bacon in there. The thing still needs to thicken. I like it. Mmm. You like it? You can taste the baguette though. 
but I guess that's a good thing. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. I actually don't know. I think mine's better. But yours is more flavorful. But mine's more cheesy. Try yours and then try mine. Mm. Mm -mm. Mine tastes plain compared to yours. Your girl knows how to flavor her food. Wait, no. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> I chose 7.5 because I felt like being nice. Oh, I think you read mine a fucking seven. It's not my ideal pasta. Like it's good. I feel like it's it could have a bit more. I'm leaping. <laughs> we both made each other a seven just because you decided to give me a point gonna, five. I was gonna give you less, but I was nice. I was gonna give you less. I was gonna give you a four. What the fuck? <laughs> Come back in the video. No, I'm just gonna vomit just to get all your pasta out of me. So that is pretty much everything. So I got rated at 7.5, which was, you know, standard, whatever. And Leah, first time cook, not bad, not bad, good size. It's not the first time I've ever cooked in my life, it, it you know. Is. It, I've never seen You didn't even know what to put in first, the pasta or the water. That doesn't even matter. It does. Anyway, so that's pretty much everything done. That was pretty fun. Pretty spontaneous. I'm glad you cooked. Literally cooked before in my I've life. Never cooked before. I've literally only ever seen you cook two minute noodles. <laughs> Tell me something you've cooked before. Pasta. When? Like not that long ago. Me today. <laughs> No, before today, I've cooked I've cooked many things. Siobhan. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's everything. So make sure to like, subscribe, follow Leah on Instagram, which is at Leah Holton underscore. And me, which is at Siobhan underscore Awad. And I changed my Instagram name for you all. I come to the realization that people actually don't know how to say my name, even though I've said it in many videos multiple times. So from now on, you guys can call me Shivy. Shivy. So, yes. If you don't know how to say that, then I can't help go back. That's a great one. <laughs> but that's everything, yeah? Yes. Love you guys. And I love pasta. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Ooh, goodbye, goodbye. Ooh, goodbye. All right, bye. Bye, friends. Bye.